Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to your daily tarot reading for Tuesday, October 1st, 2019. The month has gone by really quickly, and now we're finally in Halloween month. So it's one of my favorite times of year, as I'm sure for a lot of people it is as well. So let's get to shuffling the deck. You can see my confidence is getting a little bit better with this. Oh, and these cards are pretty easy to shuffle with, so that makes it much, much nicer. I hope everyone had a good Monday. I know um, some of us were walking into that with a little bit of trepidation, and I hope it all worked out well for everyone. I hope you kept the Four of Pentacles in mind, as that was the energy for yesterday. And today, we'll see soon enough what the energy for Tuesday is. All right, I think these cards are good and shuffled. And let's oops, break these out. One pile, two pile, and a third pile. All right, so I'm thinking I'm going to go with the first pile for some reason. So let's see what we get for that. Okay, we have the King of Swords. So a minor arcana, which really goes into us considering what's going on in our day and um, how we're going to approach it. So when we look at the swords, it's all about communication. It's all about thought. It's all about um, hearing things, um, understanding things, and moving on. It's on also about seeing through non-truths. There's a lot of um, different meanings behind it. When we look at the king in general, the king always um, signifies, depending on how you're doing your reading, either an older male or an adult male, I should say, or it could be just the energy of it. So let's look a little bit about this energy. When we look at the energy of the King of Swords, a few things come to mind. Again, I like keywords. I like bringing specific words up because that can help us through our day. Let's not forget, this is drawing the energy for that for Tuesday. Um, not specifically everything that's going to happen to you, but generally the energy of the day. So it starts off with structure. That's one of the um, keywords we use with the King of Swords. Along with the um, routine, intelligence, being rational and logical. Um, having authority, having power, obviously that comes with king, as well as having some strength and manners, uh, being able to carry on an intelligent conversation, uh, being able to detach yourself from emotions um, in order to stay cool, being honest, utilizing integrity, ethics, morals, all of those things, as well as being methodical and really um, approaching things from a clinical standpoint. In other words, you want to do head over heart. Um, you want to use your head over emotions. Um, when we look at the energy of the card for Monday, or I should say for Tuesday, it follows the Monday card, which is the Four of Pentacles, which is all about maintaining your composure, um, being reserved um, to the point of actually holding back. So now the King of Swords is here to tell you um, the energy of the day is to use your head, be discerning, um, think before engaging, all of that things. So generally, when we see the King of Swords in a tarot reading, it represents structure, routine, self-discipline power, authority, all of these things. So it can signify either a person or it can signify how you need to approach a very specific situation. Now, I don't know what that situation is going to be, but I'm sure you will when that situation actually raises itself. So that all being said, we want to really maintain our loyalty. We want to maintain appropriate and healthy and strong conversations. And we want to be protective of things that are important to us, both our loved ones, as well as very specific projects you might be working on at work. Now, by protection and by being protective, I don't necessarily mean not involving everybody else, but if you feel intuitively what someone's involving, involving themselves in is going to undo a specific amount of work or really um, detach itself from the goals that are present, then you need to be able to speak up in that intelligent um, 
capacity where you can actually say what you actually um, are thinking in a constructive manner. Hey, listen, I don't think it's a great idea right now to do that specific action. Let's wait a little bit and maybe down the road, it'd be a better time for it. Something towards that end. You guys are all intelligent. You know what I mean. Um, the other aspect of the, of the King of Swords is not only to be analytical, but to be fair-minded. You want to take your responsibility seriously, both at home as well as work, but you also want to maintain order and play by the rules, and you want to be able to be fair to others. You want to show compassion, but along that, you want to be totally and understandably fair. If someone makes an error, it's much easier to be understanding and to help them understand why they made that error versus just getting in their face and really getting into things. So long story short, I think this is a great cut for a Tuesday because that's a lot of times when most of our communications at work begin. After our Monday and after our assignments, we get into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we're actively working on projects and probably collaborating with others. So I hope you enjoyed your reading for today. I look forward to once again reading you all again tomorrow. And until then, be safe, be well, and be blessed.